know that when we do the clickers, we're working on our test prep. And so we're going to be looking at some multiple choice questions that are similar to the types of questions you see on the high school exit exam or the end of the year, the CSTs. Um, and so then what we're going to do is I'm going to give you two minutes and then you're going to choose. You hit the letter A, B, C, or D. And then remember to hit send. It's eight to the one third power. Number 16, get it in. Eek, okay. Discuss which answer you got. Convince the person next to you why your choice is better than theirs and see if it changes anything, okay? Go. 24 plus 1 is like 25, so how could it be B? So that I, I couldn't really think of an answer. So I don't know what it was, so I just like guess, but I really don't know what it is. Like, the third is 512. And then it would be B because that's 8 times 3, and that's just weird. Then C, I don't see it's, it's like between C and D. C and D. Yeah, I had. Well, I had D, but then I changed it because it doesn't really make sense to me. So, because you know it is eight times three, so I just put C. That's my answer. It, it has a fraction in it, and the rest of the answers didn't make sense to me. Yeah, because half of the eight is four, then a third is a smaller part. I was confused at first. So. Yeah, I know. They're like, what you got? Like, what what answer did you pick? <laughs> I didn't pick. Like, if you change your answer, change it now, please. I'm giving you the last 15 seconds. If you have changed your answer because of your conversations, go ahead and change it now. Wow, okay, let's talk about this. So let's look at this problem together. It says eight to the one third power, and A is 512, B is 24, C is two and two thirds, and D is two. Okay, so I heard somebody out there say, A is too big. Why is A too big? Why is A too big? Pedro, tell me why is A too big? Like what's on up there on the fraction? Okay, so I think we, we're understanding a little bit about exponents. And this means, what does this exponent mean? We have a fractional exponent now, which is kind of crazy. If I have 8 to the first power, what does that mean? 8 <coughs> times itself how many times? Yes. Or it's just 8, right? Yeah. So is the number going to be bigger than 8 or less than 8? If I have an exponent that is less than 1, less. it's going to be less than 8. That's fair, right? Yeah. So if it's going to be less than 8, then we should have been able to, that was definitely the worst answer of them all. Okay, so I'm glad that most of us were steered away from that. Okay, so that's good. Now, we got tricked into B and C. What? Did you guys think to get choose B? Rajane, tell me what did you what were you thinking? Um, oh, so you did eight over one times. No, so I got B, but. Or how did people? You, you're thinking they divided yeah. one third, oh. and then they got eight over one times. 3 over 1? Is that what you're thinking they did? And then they just multiplied 8 times 3 is 24. <coughs> did anybody multiply to do that? Is that what they thought? Well, 12 of you did, right? Okay. Do we ever multiply the base times the exponent? No. Never. That has got to be the cardinal rule. You never, 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 never multiply the base, which is this, times my exponent. Okay. So by knowing that 8 to the first power is 8, we could have eliminated A and B, actually. Right? Just by that little piece of information. What does this mean, then? Deja, tell me. Uh, when you have a fraction, 
as an exponent, like the denominator is what you like square root it by. Okay, and when so you say square root it by, what do you mean by that? How, like, in this case, the three, so how, what number goes into eight three times? And when you say that, do you mean you do, are you dividing it by three? No. So what do you, when you are thinking that, what are you thinking? Well, like, um, since the answer is A, it'd be 2 times 2 times 2. So what number times itself 3 times yeah. gives me 8? Yeah. Okay. What does this 3 mean? That a number to the power of 3 is 8. Perfect. We got tricked by some of these, um, the wrong answers. But I'm really glad you guys were able to eliminate 512 as a, def a wrong answer. And next time we need to be able to eliminate B. Abdullahi? I thought it was a mixed fraction at first. How come? I don't know, because when I see 8 and 1 third, I think of a fixed fraction, because I never uh, see um, 8 and um, 8 and um, a, a fraction. I just see 8 and a real number, like 8 and 4. Yeah, and I, th I think you were looking at it 1 third not as the exponent. Yeah. Okay. So next time, and because we haven't done a lot with exponents. So next time we'll have to look at and make sure that we look at the one-third and interpret it as an exponent.